What up, everyone? Big Kev back in the building. Today we have the 10 worst tackles, brutal fouls on Lionel Messi. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's check it out. Oh, damn, right to the face. Does that happen often? Oh, they got the spikes too, so you're taking like a spike to the a spike to the eye, eye possibly. Jesus. I'm surprised how more soccer players don't like break their the break their ankles and and like tear apart their knees on like a more consistent basis. I haven't really heard about Messi or Ronaldo missing large large chunks of time due to injury, but it's crazy how some, how how violent some of these uh, plays are. Those are those are the uh, those are the simple ones. Those are the baby ones. Nothing to worry about with those ones. I like how they had to actually subtitle the uh, the real the real brutal uh, injury. Yeah, I mean, how can that not be a red card? I mean, he was clearly just going to try to kick Messi in the leg there. It didn't seem like he was going for the uh, the ball that much. Well, he caught him on the knee. Not happy with Paolo Lopez either. And it's rare to see Leo Messi react like that. Referee having a word with him. And I think Paolo Lopez stands on Messi, does he? We're here yeah. to see this incident again. And Paolo Lopez clearly, clearly, deliberately stepping on Messi there. Yeah. Yeah, that's a dirty play for sure. Now, in football sometimes, in American football, they actually review uh these like dirty hits after the game and then we'll later fine and even sometimes suspend players does that happen in soccer like if they miss it on the field will players get penalized later you know either by fines or suspension uh if there's like a really serious a serious foul that they miss or is it just once they they miss it they miss it forever let me know down in the comments below He stomped on his hand. <laughs> Somebody stop. They do that on purpose? On his hand. Uh, it didn't look like he did, or he, or, he, or he played it off really well. Yeah, there's 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 the no there's no denying that that's a foul. I mean, he not only like slid right in front of him, and he actually looked like he tried to pull him down afterwards. It didn't look as brutal though. Going full speed, the force of what they land. Oh. What a tackle on Lionel Messi. Oh, what a tackle that was. Well, Pereca claiming that was the perfect tackle. He almost cut Messi in half. Sliding tackle. And there's no arguments from Messi. That's a brilliant challenge. 
Yeah. Yeah, it looked like you just got the ball first, and I don't know enough about the rules to see, like, if a towel tackle's illegal, though. I mean, unless it's really bad. Clearly. You know that whole stadium has got to be like on pins and needle when they see him come up like that and like slamming his hand hand dead on the turf, thinking your whole season might be over. Uh, that's got to be a scary mo moment for the fans. They've done in the second half. It's certainly been better from them, and they've shown great desire in the match. But I, you know, I haven't jotted down here any chances they've created in the second 45 minutes and look like bleeding through like blisters and you know they must deal with a lot of a lot of foot and toe injuries which you know are incredibly painful even even the simplest toe injuries are are pretty brutal you don't realize it until you actually get one and you're just like jesus how does it hurt so much a lot did he miss much does anyone know if he missed any time because of this or or like how serious this injury actually was. I mean, if he had to get stretchered off, you'd think that he had to miss a, you know, at least a couple games or a game. Oh, and another terrible tackle from Cavallio, and it's going to end very ugly. There's a punch down there, and it's now getting very, very nasty. Getting very chippy. Soccer players, man, those slide kicks. And I mean, like some of those trips, especially since you have the cleats on, I mean, those, they, they've got to have a lot of gnarly, like ACL and ankle injuries and just even like getting like stepped on top of your foot with the spikes and everything. I mean, just from normal running and wear and tear on your feet, like the blisters and stress that you put on your legs, has got to be tremendous, let alone like, you know, all the injuries that you get from, from the tackles and the, and, and the, the cleats and stuff like that, and especially a player like, uh, Messi, who they said is the most targeted or fouled player in the uh, history of soccer, I believe someone commented on my on one of my videos telling me that. So, I mean, he's got to be a target all the time, you know. So he's got to get really roughed up, and he's not a big dude to begin with. So it's impressive to hear that he has hasn't had any really long term injuries. You know, they said he had a few more muscle injuries when he first started off, but you know, since then he's been, you know, incredibly durable, especially for the length of time that he's played and, you know, the age that he is now. So yeah, that was definitely a fun one to uh, watch. So until next time, have a good one.